This is a re-upload of Mud Flood Phil's dinosaur video with better sound. Hi everybody, and today we're gonna talk about the dinosaurs. Not that far away, far ago, uh, not that long ago, Eric DeBay uh, published a video about the dinosaurs. It was on May, the 4th of May. Uh, and it has pretty good views number so a whole bunch of people have 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 already checked it out so uh i bet you want to do that and uh, just check on eric dubai's channel and you'll see this video okay and uh, why are we talking about this is it because uh uh, some guy named Carlos Evans in the group of Flat Earth Conspiracy uh, asked me to describe this question why there's no evidence of dinosaurs ever found and uh, I said if this comment gets uh, uh, rich, reaches uh, at least 5 likes uh, I'll do that and it, it got 5 likes so my my time to uh, answer the question okay so I don't want to talk about why dinosaurs never existed it, it's it's the facts it's factical material about this you can find it on Eric Dubai's channel on that video that I showed uh, I want to talk about something else I want to talk about some logics which Eric didn't show so, uh, this is the map uh, of uh, the dinosaur archaeology site. So, wh where we found dinosaurs. And if you zoom it a little bit, you're gonna show, it's going to show us uh, all types of dinosaurs and uh, the numbers. The numbers of those dinosaurs on the list so for example if you check on number 27 you never find it anywhere else on this planet so there was just one site of number 27 and who is number 27 number 27 is Saltasaur I don't know what that means but that's his not that's his name Okay, if we check on number one, which was found in the United States, see this pointer, and it was found somewhere near Colorado, I guess, and his name is Stegosaur. So the Stegosaur guy uh, doesn't show anywhere else. There's no Stegosaur anywhere else except to Wyoming or Colorado. <laughs> so my point is that there are not very lot of those sites, and we see maybe uh, maybe half of this planet or plane, whatever is not inhabited was not inhabited by those dinosaurs or we cannot find it still we are searching for it about uh, 100 years or even more and we can't find anywhere else uh, anywhere here or here or here and only one guy only one dinosaur found in southern america why is that only one found in australia why is that it's not logical so i think uh, it's a good point okay uh what do we see that is not matching the official version we see that uh we have some pictures from the united states where they took a picture with cute pterodactyls or whatever his name is so we have those artifacts 
uh, were unknown strange dinosaurs and we're gonna talk about this later and we have those pictures again and we have those marks which are definitely marks but no one is found near those marks so uh, maybe they're fake maybe someone wants to make a sensation and say oh I got the dinosaur footprints so uh, everybody come to my town and we're gonna have a lot of tourists and we're gonna sell a lot of beer and we're gonna have some fun so is this natural or is this artificial Eric Dubai it talks about it in his video so you might want to check it out okay we got those and they say it's a petrified dinosaur maybe it is but is it a dinosaur or just a bird we got those tooth and they say it's a tyrannosaur tooth the hugest tooth ever but there's no tyrannosaur anywhere close to that tooth so it's a nice thing to take a picture take selfie but is it natural maybe it's artificial okay you got that one so what do we have we have uh A lot of uh, paintings, images, and uh, reconstructions of how they looked. Maybe this one looks like the one on the picture, and I agree that this guy maybe was natural. Look at this one. Okay. And they say uh, this is uh, the prince of dinosaurs. <laughs> I'm not agreeing with that. Maybe these are, ah, but you see those wings and then you see those you know, feathers, and maybe those are birds, not dinosaurs. But they say this is a dinosaur or ancient uh, father of all those birds. And they check on those and they say, oh yeah, that's a dinosaur tooth or dinosaur bone or whatever. And you have to believe this. They show you those pictures and say that that's how he looked, but they have no complete skeleton of any dinosaur. Mostly they find parts, but they don't find the complete one. They paint a lot of pictures and say oh that's how they fought like just like those animals we have right now they had like to fight each other for some territory or stuff like that they show us a lot of bones and skeletons in those museums but in fact eric says that uh, when he checked it out it was all artificial so, uh, it's all plastic plus some paper and, and it holds on those strings, you know, metallic ones, because you can see it's pretty obvious that those kind of animals couldn't exist because they couldn't have moved. And there are a lot of uh, uh, articles on that, that uh, it's... Uh, and so they say, oh, those dinosaurs are really birds and st something like that. And that Tyrannosaur, the, the hugest one, uh, never existed. Oh, and then they say he was a vegan or something like that. But then they say, no, he was a predator again. And so we look at the Jurassic Park and say, oh, yeah, it's a real one. They look pretty real, but sometimes when you check it out you find some bones that are completely from another animal you know some giraffe snacks and stuff like that it's 
So that's how they look. And they say, and we believe. So look at those paper bones, which are polished a little bit. Those paintings, you know, it's a gold paint on it, you know. And they say, oh, dinosaurs uh, became birds. They never disappeared completely. They became some birds. But those dudes became this bird type of shit. And that's, that's how they compare the, uh, the dinosaurs to a human height. You see, we are so small. So, obviously, uh, in official version, we couldn't have existed when this age was the dinosaur age, the Jurassic age. So, but, you see, uh, those big dinosaurs and the human. And that's the smallest one. He was uh, three in three point two feet. So he was the smallest one. Disappeared too. Okay. That's some graphics. And they speculate on that. And they making movies. They making three D motion pictures. And they animate them. And they sell this product to us and sell this product to advertisers and give it give it a lot of money there's a whole bunch bunch of business uh companies that's uh that are working on this topic and they make money and they brand it and so it's just a whole big story to say oh guys we were wrong there were no dinosaurs and so they're never gonna do it it's just like oil companies they're saying it was, and they they gonna suicide, kill themselves if uh, everybody reveals the truth. So they do this. Maybe this is long necked sea lizard existed. Why not? But where are the bones? Pterodactylus. They did exist. And we saw those pictures. But are they dinosaurs? Maybe this is a type of bird or some sea bird or something like that? We don't know. Because we don't have any proof right now. And they don't show it to us. Completely. No origin, natural, natural origin skeleton. Never shown in any museum. That's what Eric Dubai says. So we can believe in it and we cannot. We may do it or may not. We may show it and uh, to our kids and say, oh, look at those dinosaurs and may buy some toys and may do whatever. But this is not the fact factical situation. You got to understand that this is a business scheme. And we're looking just on the advertisement of the future business scheme yeah that's what they're showing us this social media marketing things like look at those we're eating dinosaurs right now look at those just because they have uh, the interior air sac and uh, this type of bone which is not looking like the, the dog's bone but they are just pointing. This is the same. This is the same. And this is the same. And we look at it and we don't see the same. Because he's got this long, long wings. And uh, he's got no. Okay. So we look at those pictures. And we just satisfied with that, right? No, I'm not satisfied. So the last uh, part of my uh, today's uh, speech is about the actual artifacts uh, that we see. And uh, okay, let me just 
take a while. I may have some uh, non-good pictures here, but most of them are on this topic. So see, this is an ancient picture, ancient painting, and we see some type of dinosauric animals. And we compare them to camels and we don't see any match, except maybe uh, the legs look like camels and maybe a body does, but the rest of it is not. They have a longer hair and they have it taller and stuff like that. See this? Okay, these are horses and look how small horses in front of those dinosaurs are. Okay, this is a dinosaur barrier, I guess. And it looks like the one we just saw on those pictures of uh, proposals that the scientists gave us. Okay, yeah. Uh, these are stones, the famous stones. You can see a lot of a lot of them stones, and you see dinosaurs in, interacting and uh, sometimes fighting with humans. You see those elephants eaten by some huge snakes in these ancient pictures. We see some flying reptiloids or maybe dinosaurs even on ancient paintings. We see those pterodactyls, little small ones, some dragon, some, okay, some vases with dragons, again those ones Again, the stones, the stones, you know, the crocodiles, or whatever they name it. Look how he's not a crocodile, but they call it crocod crocodile pardilis. So it's a crocodile mixed with leopardus. Okay, and uh, we see those uh, funny dogs and uh, sharp teeth, crocodile looking dogs or whatever, it, it's a bulldog or something like that. Okay, again, we see those smoking, smoking Indians or maybe South Americans or Central Americans riding this huge reptiloid with, who is smoking too. Look at them. They're smoking out something. Or maybe that's a underwater mask. But what? This one doesn't have one. This one rides and he's a driver. That's why he's not stoned. But those two are smoking out and exhaling some dope, I guess. You see those uh, little sculptures by Waldemar Gilsrud? Uh, yeah, no. Okay, if we zoom on this one, you see again two dinosaur type of animals which are right, which have been ride by some guys. What's this? Okay, another way is dragon ways. Okay, this one is a suicide of some guy. Uh, and we see again those animals here. You see another guy riding a dragon. It's a Chinese dragon, looking like a leopard or something like that. Leopard, a puma, but with the head of a dragon. Another one. Oh, the famous gates, 
mosaics. You wouldn't see a lot of uh, dinosaur exactly the same way that we uh, saw on those uh, scientist pictures before the previous part. You see, uh, it was uh, in Babylon, like they t tell us, and we don't see any dinosaurs on those, but some strange animals. Yes, the uh, the horse with the unicorn, and uh, some strange maybe deers or something like that. But are the are they dinosaurs? Maybe, but maybe not. And this one is uh, the guys killed some crocodiles, I guess, but they are not looking just the same as crocodiles, maybe some kind of reptiles. And definitely, they are the evil type ones, they're predators. Look at those teeth. Are they dinosaurs? No, they are dragons or something like that, some reptiloids and they are being burned and killed and smashed by those guys. So, could the real dinosaurs, as scientists say, live with the people in the same era? No. Same age? No. Same time? No. They don't say it. They say that the human race was found and became uh, human a lot, lot in a different time, you know. So look at those; they're killing him. This guy is praying on some strange animal with a unicorn, and it's looking maybe like a reptiloid, but with hair. Oh, look at this one! He's in the guy. Just the feet hanging out of his mouth. And another one eaten. It's a dragon eating some Christian maybe. So that's another type of uh, paintings where we have um, Christian thematics and Christian topics and Christian uh, situations that were uh, close to the bi biblic types and so uh, maybe they use dragons to scare the uh, the guys who went to church maybe but maybe not because uh, we have those in uh, fairy tales where some dragons hunting people and uh, it's a Hollywood topic we have a lot of movies with the same kind of uh, situations. Now look at this one. He's eating some guy and someone's on top trying to kick his ass just for the guy to be uh, free and another guy is uh, killing another animal. It looks like a cow but how cow can eat a man? Maybe it's a dinosaur. Maybe, maybe not. We don't have it in a high definition, so that's what we have. Okay, that's another one. It's a man eater. It's a whole bunch of guys here you know, resting on some one dead one, and uh, only three guys trying to save those two who are already killed. And we, uh, and we can see uh, maybe kids of that dragon, maybe two of them, and this dragon is already killed one. A one guy and he's eating the second one while those two just trying to save those. So uh, what is the situation about? Maybe those guys took a rest in the wrong place and uh, we have uh, we have a situation with the homo human interaction uh, with the dinosaurs which is not possible. But this is a art, uh, this is a uh, original picture. You cannot just, uh, you know, say that uh, it 
didn't happen. Maybe it happened. Maybe it's it didn't happen. Maybe it's a fairy tale. But something is definitely to investigate on this one. Okay. Uh, another one. We have those angels. Uh, uh, like I said about uh, the Christian topics, we have those angels killing some uh, strange beast, or maybe a dragon, or maybe a dinosaur, or pterodactyls. What is this? We don't know, but he's kinda... Okay, and this one, again, some beast, and maybe two of them. Look at this one. Are coming off out of this water or maybe sea. The guy is just scared. And, and this one is trying to kill the beast. Does it look like a dinosaur? Mm, I don't know. He, be, he looks like a type of monster we have uh, in modern movies. And the uh, mix of some you know, genetically mut mutated organism. Another sea beast which is hunting for a ship. Another war with the dinosaurs or beasts or some predators attacking humans. This whole bunch of guys, it's an army situation, they're killing those reptiloids and we see those pig, pigs with the sharp teeth attacking those guys from another side. And we see those uh, uh, airlines or some air, air lions which are attacking which uh, uh, look like griffons or something like that. Look at this guy, he's riding some strange non-existent to the animal and he has, guess what, maybe he's a devil, maybe he is some uh, demon or something like that. But he looks pretty fun. Again, some dragon or something like that is uh, trying to kill a man, a sleeping man maybe. This one looks like a dying guy too. Maybe he is killing him right now. Save him, but no one is saving him. So why did I, uh, did I put the tank on it? Just imagine that you came to a kindergarten, okay? And in this kindergarten, uh, or maybe a school, elementary school, you're teaching those kids about some story that you really was interacted in. So, uh, what is uh, the possible story? Maybe you were a soldier on a World War War Two, and uh, you are kind of old. Maybe you are about uh, eighty-five or ninety years. And you were uh, the uh, junior uh, driver of a tank. Okay, so. You were not the commander, you were not the boss in this tank, so there were some guys who were older than you are. You were. So uh, definitely you were the youngest one, and what you've seen in the tank is uh, your mm, memory. And uh, uh, let me just check it in. Google Translate, so I would understand better. Yes. 
your perception of that situation and that thing uh, is kind of is kind of young, you know, not with a lot of experience. You were a guy with a not lot of experience. So what what was your perception? Just a junior driver, not the boss, nothing. And you trying to tell those kids in the kindergarten or uh, junior high or whatever how you were fighting uh, those guys on the field and that thing. And so, just imagine you that you tell them it's a big thing and it has uh, like three heads and those uh, sticks with the fire coming out of it. And that fire can blow anything like a concrete building or maybe like a McDonald's or everything. Every car like a suburban Chevrolet uh, for the expedition can be crashed with the huge monster that we rode on. So those little guys, if they never seen a tank like you are explaining about, like with three heads, they gonna paint something which is not exactly the same because uh, what you were telling is not quite good enough you know to uh, paint something exactly what you've been talking about because you're not the uh, you're not the best specialist in that but you are a real witness so that's what we talk about when we uh, check on those stories that those guys were painting about what are those flying lines what are those uh, pigs or what are those uh, reptiloids are they really animals you know my point is that we are talking about some mythology and uh, sometimes you cannot paint any uh, exactly what the what they want if you haven't seen it look at this one you have a, a biblical situation when uh, Jesus was born and see he paints a knight why did he paint a knight look at this this is armor because he knows how the knight looks and he's He's painting all those guys in the clothes of this of the year that he was living, even though he's painting about the past. And they tell us, those scientists tell us, yeah, he painted it because uh, he never knew how those ancient guys were looking at. But okay, we believe it. But if that's it. Why he was painting a knight here? I, I bet he knew that it was a medieval in his time and that Jesus was born in uh, like a thousand years before and there were definitely no knights there at that time. So he painted an elephant just like he knew because he seen it maybe in the in the zoo or something like that in medieval there were a lot of elephants probably but look at those camels he definitely didn't see any camel before and that's why he mixed the face of the camel with some animals that he he seen before Okay. But look at that knight. He is a knight. So what is my point? If you never seen something, like I'll tell you, okay, uh, please uh, just uh, paint me the micro scheme of uh, iPhone 6. Maybe you have an iPhone 6, but you never seen inside of it, and you never seen the micro scheme, and you can't paint it exactly. Or maybe I'll tell you, okay, just paint me the Russian house. You gotta paint me some ugly one with the Putin on it. 
because you don't know anything about Russian houses. You can't paint exactly what Russian house was. So we can define it as a Russian house looking at it. And so that's my point. And you see those? They painted those animals because they knew how they looked. And those um, objects on those animals Define no, them, define them animals from the other ones. So when we just glance at it, we already see that's a griffon or something like that. You get my point? So I think those guys actually seen it or knew the guys who uh, actually seen it and painted it because. All we see about those griffons, and these are mythology animals, all we see about those griffons as they appear everywhere on in Russia, and uh, I'll show a, a video about those griffons later, but my point is, when you've seen a horse, you can paint a horse. And when you've seen a griffon, you can paint a griffon. And when, you can't, when you've never seen a dinosaur, you can't paint a dinosaur because you've never seen it. And if you never seen this reptiloid, you can't paint it exactly. So the, the ones who are going to watch your painting understand what is it about. Why is this guy sticking some uh, something in his head? Why is this guy eating this baby? Why he has this thing? Why this one is killing this one? What is this guy doing here? It's a, a situation, man. So all these situations gotta be exactly clear to those who buy those pictures, who watch them, who can pay the money to get this picture. And if it's not a situation that the guy understands, he cannot correctly image those things, you know, those details that define those from the others or well, otherwise it's gonna be like simple simple painting which is not definable by anyone and no one can guess what is on it if you paint a basilisk you paint it like everyone understands with the reptiloid uh, tail but it looks like a bird and it strikes with some laser things out of his eyes and you say oh that's a basilisk or whatever if you paint a George uh, Saint George who killed a dragon you you always paint some guy with a the stick how you call it an arrow or not the, an arrow okay let me check it in translation a spare so if you see a spear and a guy close to a, a dragon, you understand that's a Saint George killed who killed the dragon, because that's uh, a legend. That's a situation. If you see it, that's a Saint George. If you see some wings like a bat and a face like a bird with teeth and a long tongue sticking out and those hands you understand that's a dragon because you've seen a picture which says that's a dragon and if, if he looks like that picture you say that's a dragon mm -hmm. and you can paint this dragon you know even if you've never seen it. but it's gonna be the exact the same as you've seen it because you're gonna copy what you've seen if you see a guy with a dragon, you see it's a Saint George, but he's not really killed any dragon. He he made him a home dragon. He tempted him. You know? That's actually Saint George D. But you got those little sculptures by Valdemar Gelsrud 
and those icky stones where those dragons and some reptiloids and dinos dinosaurs interact with humans even kill them and eat them you know look at this one he's killing a dragon one dragon or reptiloid eating him in the back one is eating another one so this is pretty strange situation right and those guys who painted this situation this topic on this stone they probably knew what they are doing because it's a commercial business and what about the collection of Josrud in Mexico uh, he began to collect it in 1944 uh, while making some uh, digging job so right now he has 37,000 artifacts and it's astonishing and it's amazing that there's no repeating thing in this 37,000 collection uh, and about uh, two and a half thousand of it are the statues of dinosaurs and uh, the difference between those dinosaurs amazes is even the scientists don't even identify a whole bunch of them because uh, a large percentage of those sculptures is not identified by those scientists those who propose us the idea that the dinosaurs existed and they saying this is a bullshit they don't accept it as an official artifacts but they got two and a half thousand of uncopied origin original artifacts made of uh, something some you know, ceramics or whatever so this is strange that's all I wanted to talk about so uh, my point is the dinosaurs in that never existed like they the scientists tell us that those dinosaurs those ones never existed because you cannot prove it because there's no original bones there's no complete skeletons nothing except the pterodactyls but pterodactyls uh, looking the same as the bird so maybe this is a type of a bird but maybe ancient bird we have those tigers with have of mammoths uh, stuff like that and maybe it's just like that some like just a dead type of bird whatever but were there monsters of course there were but some of them definitely are technological objects but those who explained the ones who were painting these situations later maybe didn't explain it correctly so maybe those guys never smoked any dough maybe this is a large tramway or something like that which horns and the traffic jam and those that uh, well, those indians uh, uh, really not the indians are some gentlemen from london riding these uh, huge double decker and smoking their pipes with tobaccos but those Indians tell their kids or whoever maybe that the, this bus looked like a dragon and a whole bunch of people ro rode it. So we don't know it and we cannot trust those artifacts right now. Just like other scientists do. Okay, it was a pretty long one. So I guess if you ask me any more questions, I'll try to clear things up for you. So, goodbye.